In this video, we're going to look at how to subtract fractions with different denominators. Here is a calculation. 5 sixths take away 2 ninths. The denominators must be the same for us to be able to subtract the fractions. So the first thing we need to do is find a common denominator. We need to find the lowest common multiple of the denominators. So let's look at the multiples of 6 and 9 and see what the lowest one is. 18 is the lowest common multiple. So I can make both of the denominators 18. We need to multiply 6 by 3 to make 18. So we also need to multiply the numerator by 3. 5 times 3 is 15. So now I need to multiply 9 by 2 to get 18. So we also need to multiply the numerator by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So now that our denominators are the same, we can subtract the numerators. 15 take away 4 is 11. So the answer is 11 eighteenths. Let's have a look at another example. 7 eighths take away 3 quarters. So we need to find a common denominator. So let's have a look at the multiples of 8 and 4 and see what the lowest one is. I can see that 8 is the lowest common multiple. So I can make both the denominators 8. As 7 eighths already has 8 as its denominator, we don't need to change this fraction. So now I need to multiply 4 by 2 to get 8. So we also need to multiply the numerator by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So now that our denominators are the same, we can subtract the numerators. 7 take away 6 equals 1. So the answer is 1 8. Let's have a look at one more. 4 fifths take away 2 thirds. So we need to find a common denominator. So let's look at the multiples of 5 and 3. Fifteen is the lowest common multiple, so I can make both the denominators fifteen. We need to multiply five by three to get to fifteen, so we also need to multiply the numerator by three. Four times three is twelve, so now I need to multiply three by five to get fifteen, so we also need to multiply the numerator by five. Two times five is ten. So now that our denominators are the same, we can subtract the numerators. 12 take away 10 equals 2. So the answer is 2 fifteenths. Now it's your turn. These fractions have been subtracted incorrectly. Can you spot the mistake that's been made? Let me know your answers in the comment section.